Hyper Hexagon. Welcome back to another Hyper Hexagon episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. This time we're going to Olive Branch. <laughs> Olivine. We're, we're going to Olive Garden Town. We're going to the Olive Garden. When we're there, we're family. Is there a Pokemon that's like in the... Oh, hi, Turtwig. Uh, is there a Pokemon that's like... That looks like breadsticks? <laughs> or like or like a loaf of bread? Uh, Charger Bug kind of looks like a loaf. There's also like... Uh, there, there's Fido, oh. which is like a little little bun. Oh, yeah. Food based, like or like food bait looking based Pokemon are always weird to me, cause it's like that just like <laughs> that ju that just screams like this does not feel right <laughs> to me. <laughs> Big fan of the ice cream Pokemon you are. <laughs> oh, yeah, not really. <laughs> Speaking of ice cream, that's actually what I had for lunch today. Huh. Oh, there's also what was it? Um, I don't know if it's the um, if it was a uh, whatever the the like the pie dragon Pokemon. Uh, just speaking of food related Pokemon. Oh yes, there's uh, the Appleton and Flapple. Apple, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that Violet and Scarlet, or was that a different generation? That was originally from Sword and Shield. That's what it was, okay. And oh, they Star added in a new... The, the, the candied apple one was from Scarlet Violet. Gotcha. Why does Masquerain have Intimidate? Look <laughs> at them eyes! Look at them fake eyes! Look at how angry it is! That just, like... That just doesn't... <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't compute to me. He's got those big, angry, fake eyes. How are you not intimidated by this horrifying <laughs> creature that's clearly just the most angry at you? You know, I never really... I mean, I'll admit, I have never paid too much attention to Pokedex entries. At least not until I saw a bunch of videos. Uh, talking about, about how some of them are insane. You know, how, yeah. how some of them are absolutely, like, crazy. Uh, and, but, like, I never thought... I never even thought of the whole like oh look at those big eyes on masquerade on masquerade like that thought never even occurred to me that those were like <laughs> those, so those they're were not the the real eyes because the real eyes are the tiny little dots right in the middle, that's but that's it, what I always like knew or thought but I never even but, read any kind of lore thing saying that oh yeah those are like fake eyes to like to try and deter predators which makes sense but I just never thought of it. Also, oh, I see. It's a rock. Okay. I was like, how do you get to that? And I <laughs> missed the rock climb thing. Uh, hi. Baoba? Baoba. Are you holding the Pokedex? I used to run a oh. safari zone in Fuchsia City... But it, uh, it kept breaking the video game. <laughs> this like not open a state of the art safari zone and cyan, cyan wood. <laughs> Why don't we share each other's digits? <laughs> uh, sure. Is there anything in the... Actually, I don't even know if you can... Uh... Uh, that's a great question, because the Safari Zone in this game is very different than past Safari Zones. It's, it's really interesting, but... Moo Moo Farm. Okay, yes, there is, there is stuff in the Safari Zone, but are there any Dark-type Pokémon? No. <laughs> ah, well. well mm. 
Well, anything worthwhile is the better question. Yeah, um... It's Cacne and Cacturn. Spoilers. Hmm. Oops. Uh, I wanted to check the entirety of this. Yo, girls, you got any uh, secret items in here I can take? Got anything in your trash cans? My milk tank isn't giving me milk no more. Need lots I, of That's berries. not how milk works. <laughs> I, I regret to inform you people <laughs> at the farm that... Uh, you might need to be rethinking your... Uh... You might need to find some Tauros. <laughs> I found a nugget. That'll be useful for... Uh... That'd be useful. Acquiring dollars. Ooh. Drain punch. Drain punch is good. Ah, oh, who would that be good on? I feel like, I mean, I feel like Weavile could, well, hmm. We, Weavile is such a glass cannon that, like... Having more health doesn't necessarily feel like a great big benefit. No. Maybe, like, Tyranitar? Because it's more tanky? Having a Maybe. drain punch to kind of, you know, <laughs> if it can top off. It. <laughs> that's a, actually that's a good point. What could even learn it? <laughs> I I kind of I kind of have to remind myself that hey, by the way, not everything can learn certain moves. It could take the uh, T Rex approach of I've got, <laughs> I've got big head, I, little arms. Little ar I mean, it does have little arms. Have you seen Tyrannosaurus little arms? That's what I mean. <laughs> That's why I'm like, it might, re it really might not work. This was a joke only for me because there's no camera here, but I was just doing little T-Rex arms. trying to. Oh, I'll be honest. I'll, don't worry. I was doing the same thing. So <laughs> we're both on the same page. I need to rewatch that movie. It's, it's been, been a, it's been it's a good, good while. Alright, you know what? Let's let's answer this question right now. Who can learn it? It can't. Nothing can actually. Hey. <laughs> well, never mind. Nothing in the current party can, and to be honest, I I don't know what else um I'm not sure like other Pokemon like or dark type Pokemon that could potentially learn Drain Punch. Let me see if at, I can... Uh... At least in this generation. Let's see if I can look into that. Man, it'll be it'll be handy when we can get um brick break. That is very true. If something can learn it, well, actually, I think something. I'm can, I think. I'm pretty no, I'm I'm pretty sure Weavile can learn brick break. I remember I'm pretty sure I remember teaching it brick break in one of my playthroughs. There is one dark type in this game that can learn drain punch. Is it dark ray? It's dark ray. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> All the more reason. <laughs> Spoink. Uh. Speaking of. Uh... Speaking of Pokemon with horrendous dex descriptions. Also, I didn't mean to. I kind of just. I was kind of just spamming the A button, but it's fine. <laughs> Haunch is strong enough. What's up, Lyra? I once caught a whiff of Meryl's scent. <laughs> it smelled like a dust... Okay? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, thanks for that information, I guess. I, I really needed to know that. <laughs> this is very important. Apparently. Is it okay to brag about my Pokemon? Well, it depends. No. <laughs> that depends. Is it a magic cart? Because I don't think you should. A shelter. I'm not so I'm, sure about I'm, that. I'm gonna stand by my node. Don't pay <laughs> attention to the story from like two episodes ago about how much I don't like competitive cloister. Because <laughs> that wasn't in this generation. That's that's the trick. Well. Let's chat about Pikachu and Slowbook and Tentacruel. Um, sure. Now let this be a lesson for everyone at home. Don't just willingly give your number out to every single person you meet. Do not use me as an example. Also, I hate to do this, but I may need to step away for like two seconds. Alright. So now you're all stuck with me. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything here? No, there's just grass. And a wild encounter. Also thinking of uh, Weavile being out. Let's switch that out for some even levels. I, okay, we found all of Iron City. I have no idea what goes on here, but let's explore. It's a Poke Gear, right? Yeah, it is. Oh. Bro, <laughs> don't fight me. Yeah, it's me again. Who else would it be? Dude, calm down. Frickin... Someone's a little pissy. Hallvine City Jasmine. I mean, I know he just said that Jasmine's not here, but I at the very least want to take a look. Tending Mystic Pokemon... Okay, this looks... This looks snowy. So, I'm going to guess it's a nice type. Uh, I'm gonna raid this house real quick. Oh, the fisherman! Oh, is he gonna... Is he gonna give me a new rod? Yeah, we got the good rod. Let's go. Maybe we might be able to find Darkrai a little better. Uh, no thanks, dude. I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> I'm not of the singing variety. Everything I'm in makes you feel stronger. This guy is choking. I was in that, and sometimes there are round boulders in your way. You can move them with a hidden strength move. Wait. Hikers at Mount Mortar sometimes have extra or so. Oh! So if I went over to Mount Mortar, I could have gotten potentially strength? Interesting. Yo, can you sell me something? Okay, fine. Hmm. I know, it makes me wonder if I should go back to Mount Mortar. <laughs> and maybe I should go back around and check Mount Mortar. Also, I should check. Oh, oh. We've got a hit! <laughs> Oops. How's it going, Haunch Grove? Ooh. Anything else around here? Check the check these houses <laughs> if I can get into them. Hey. If you have a Krabby, would you like to trade it for my guard chump? <laughs> 
That's quite a trade. <laughs> that is quite the trade. Oh my god. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a Krabby. And we don't need a Garchomp either. But that is quite a hey, trade. No. Also, welcome back. Um, While you were gone, I found the guy who gives me the good rod. Hey. Um... So, you know, maybe we might have a better chance of uh, finding Dark Ride when we have to go <laughs> fish it up again. Uh, the the different rods have different Pokemon, so no. <laughs> Aww! That's not how this works, unfortunately. Dang it. Well, what? <laughs> well, where else? Uh... You need a super rod for the other. Uh... Dang it. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a bunch more great balls real quick. Uh, buy some super potions. Well, is there anything else with the good rod that might be beneficial in any of the routes we've been to? Uh, probably not. It's a lot of things to scroll to through scroll and check, through. though. <laughs> That's fine. Also, I did chat to a random NPC that was talking about how apparently uh, hikers at Mount Mortar sometimes have extra strength. That is correct. Which, but... ma which makes me think, uh, which makes me wonder if I could have gone right to have gotten strength. Um, maybe, but the gym that lets you use strength is... Not for a little bit. I mean, that's fine. It's just more of a matter of, like, collecting it at least to just have it. That, and if I remember correctly, strength is decently strong. Yeah. Or at least, it, you know, it's got, like, a decent strength. Uh -huh. Strength has a decent strength. Hey. Imagine strength having, like, a power of, like, 20. <laughs> Aw. That's a tease. Actually, wait, no, I, I have Surf, right? Yeah. I should be able to get over there. <laughs> we have the technology. Pokemon use a later... <laughs> Pay tribute to those Pokemon. People train at the lighthouse. It's not easy to climb. <laughs> I'll show you. What's up? Gentleman Alfred with a sand slash. Yeah, I'm I'm still scrolling through good rod stuff and it does not seem like there's really <laughs> anything. There's really anything. Wait a minute. Did the good rod replace the old rod? No. Okay. <laughs> I just thought of that. I'm like, oh, don't tell me. <laughs> in in no Pokemon game has rods ever just like full on replaced each other. I couldn't remember if it did or if they did or did not. So that's why I was like, uh, had a brief moment of panic. Sure. Trade phone numbers with the old man. Men of the Sea are always spoiling for a good fight. You know, the the most seafaring Pokemon than that. Yeah. Have you seen the theory that, like, um, supposedly, like, people, su like, suspect that, like, Venonat might have originally have been, like, or Butterfree may have been, like, a, an evolution to Venonat because the eyes are the same, but instead they, like, got swapped around? I have not seen that, but, uh... I, I, I thought I remember hearing, like, someone or something talking about, like, oh, you know, crazy little theories about 
analyzing Pokemon's features and how Venonette shares some, like, shares, like, a feature or two with Butterfree. But this was also, like, a while ago that I've never seen that, so I could very much just be, like, forgetting details. I don't think it was really anything to be, yeah. like, super uh, there, serious about either. It was just, like, analyzing... And there is a lot of literal... stuff from, like, the, the big multi-decade leak stuff of, like, old Pokemon and, like, old Pokemon designs and stuff. Thanks for telling me about your uh, Pokemon storing habits. Hi, dude. Just a stand around and gawk. Also, there is an indent on that floor. Someone has been... People have been getting a little too rough on these floors. <laughs> Battles are getting out of hand. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, hey, Bird Keeper has a bird. It's, it's so uncommon when this happens. It's fun with the randomizer to see uh, a certain type of trainer actually have a, have a Pokemon that is to their gimmick. I don't know about you, but I'm not really a big fan of Swagger. I feel uh, like the potential for that to backfire <laughs> is usually painful on me. Yeah, you know. Oh, so I always feel like, um... Oh, hey, another bird. Um, I also feel like my luck with Pokemon games is usually... Confusion always messes with me, but never messes with the computer. <laughs> More times than not. Fair enough. <laughs> this is a legit bird trainer. <laughs> are we sure this are we sure this guy didn't get randomized? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that's it's... the definitive right there. Yeah. You know, thinking of, like, the pre-evolution uh, subject I brought up earlier, or in a, uh, the other episode about um, Lapras, mm -hmm. kind of, it kind of makes me think to, the, like, the why not situation. It's like, did Wobbuffet really need a pre-evolution? Probably not, but it's fun. But, you know, it's, but yeah, yeah, it's fun and it's cute. Oh, so thinking of, like, Pokemon theory stuff reminds, like, about, like, what Pokemon might might have been, like, potentially related to another. Uh, another one was, I saw one being about, um, Cubone and potentially, um, what's Kangaskhan? Because, like, the, the head shape and skull yeah. shape of Cubone is very That one similar. I have heard. But also just <laughs> back to back to um messed up Pokedex entries. Poor Cubone. <laughs> like that like that's dark. And I, Get out and of like here I wanna that. say that one has slightly more like in game stuff to it, because like one of the uh different miss cause missing no, you know, boundless sea of fun things from generation one like <laughs> one of the the things it can do is just randomly evolve into a kangaskhan kangaskhan huh 
I don't think I remember hearing or seeing that one. Is it only Kangaskhan that it does it that it does that with? Uh, some. The thing about missing no's, there's like fifty different missing no's, and like I think ten of them do that, or ten or twenty. <laughs> Let me. Also, this might be a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> Where's an earthquake when you need it? Correct me if I'm wrong, does... Or, not, or... Not correct me if I'm wrong, but, but like, more of a question. Does earthquake do more damage if the Pokemon... If a Pokemon uses dig? Or is it just it always, like, hits it if it's... If it uses dig? I think it just always... Or, I think it just hits... I Let me double check... Okay, no, it does double the power. Okay. Or double the damage. Well, okay. In this generation, it would double the power. In later generations, it doubles the damage. <laughs> because, you know, why not? No, we just fought that. The hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. I, just, I, <laughs> I don't need swagger. It's a different. It's M that can sort of evolve into a Kangaskhan, apparently. M. Because th there's a bunch of weird glitch Pokemon. <laughs> I remember trying to look up like, I remember trying to look up a thing that was like each generation's like essentially missing no or whatever. Which basically, at one point, it just pretty much became just a, a hmm. circular question mark. Uh, in Generation 3, it's the circular question mark, because that's what, like, the... It just uses the sprite from the Pokedex for, like, you've never seen this Pokemon before. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am! Can I get a gym battle? Ma'am! Jazz... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Let me in! I think you need to uh, go up the, the ladder there. Well, I did go up the ladder, but then it led to a dead end. Unless there's a ladder I missed and I'm just blind. Uh, so... There may be... Actually, yeah, I keep... I was looking up glitch stuff. Because you need to get to, like, that other section. Right. That's why, I, that's why I was thinking, like, maybe there was, like, a... Maybe, like, that's why can, I was, like, I went into the elevator. Can you examine that dent? Like, right... Because in Generation 2, you ju there's, like, holes in the floor, and you need to, like, fall back down, and then... But I don't know why the holes aren't holes. Oh, wait, go to the right? What the heck? Just jump out the window. What? So I think I think I'm beginning to realize. <laughs> I either realize or remember where where and why I like got stuck on this game because I don't think I ever thought about doing that when I remember... <laughs> what, you don't think about jumping out of a window of... That one, that's a little... That's definitely a bit of a... bit of a stretch. <laughs> for me. I'm like so... I, I'm like so unafraid of the water types for some reason. I'm just like, yeah, I've got a special defense boost because of Sandstorm, it's fine. That's the worst that could happen. Hydro pump? Ah, whatever. <laughs> Just tank it. Oh, this is... It's, just a, it's map. just a map. I didn't know if there was, like, anything special about... Like, you know, walk up to something and it gives you, like, a dialogue box. Yeah, so I like how... <laughs> you're talking about how, you know, Oh, there's supposed to be holes in the ground. 
You know, I like how they're like, yeah, you know, let's not do that. Why don't we just jump out of a freaking window? Yeah. Instead, it's so know, much makes so much more sense. The logical progression of that. Clearly, in between, you know, the original Generation 2 events and now, they repaired the floor, but they just didn't get around to fixing the windows. So you can still just, you know, boom, jump out of them. <laughs> in the process of repairing the floor, they broke the window and <laughs> just looked the other way. <laughs> Dang it. Ow? Uh, <laughs> something I didn't realize, rock apparently is not resistant to bug. Uh, yes, that is correct. I never realized that. I almost feel like that seems kind of odd. I don't know. Oh no, Radita. Whatever will you do to da? I'm gonna, gonna slide some rocks onto it. Neither of those were birds! <laughs> <laughs> the lying liar. Although, admittedly, I probably should, uh... Potion up. Some of these potions, yeah. Man, this is something I like about the newer generations when you go to do... something When you go to heal a Pokemon, it doesn't just go back to the bag. It's very useful. It is just an ever so slight, you know, convenience. Quality of life. Now everyone might be wondering, where am I getting rocks inside of this building? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, the, the answer is don't worry about it, it's fine. Tyrannosaur has his own little, you know, collection of rocks. He keeps them within the, like... The, the, like, folds that... Or, not the folds, but, like, those weird, dark openings he has in his body? I mean, I don't think they're openings, but, you know. <laughs> they, they always look like they're just, like, little... Um... Not little, but, like... I remember seeing those on Tyranitar, and, like, that was always sort of, like, a design choice. Where I'm like, I'm not sure if that's just, like, weird openings on its body, or if that's literally just, like black skin underneath. Pokemon do have some weird design choices. Just when you least expect it, I am the camera- I am Cameron the photographer. Oh, this is another photography spot. Yep. Squad. Yeah! <laughs> Squad up. Wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it. <laughs> Denied. Beldum. Hmm. The only thing I have is bite for this thing. Or, well, I mean, I technically have rock smash, but, like, <laughs> type effectiveness is not, or same type tack bonus is not there. That is true. I forget, is, um... For Weavile, 
Does it ever potentially learn Shadow Claw or Shadow Claw Teachable? I don't know. We're gonna take a look. I mean, again, we've already talked about the, like... <laughs> Ghost and Dark you know, overlap. Ghost and Dark overlap, but it's like, it's one of those, like... If there were moves that it might potentially have, which, like, Shadow Claw came to mind. It uh, does learn Shadow Claw through TMs. Okay. that And that's one thing I was or, trying to wait. remember, too, is if shit... Let me... Because that was the wrong generation. It still learns Shadow Claw through TMs in Generation 4, so we're still good. Okay. Because I, I was also trying to remember if uh, Shadow Claw was also a TM move, potentially. Its breathing is slight. Well, that's not good. Suddenly it got sick and it's gasping for air. There is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but it's across the sea and I can't leave Amphi unattended. Like how she just locked herself in here. Girl, how did she even get here? She, well, she I jumped out the window. She... <laughs> I asked like that, everyone but I'm else. Like, I asked that, but I'm like, oh wait, she has she has a key to this freaking door, but still. <laughs> I'm like, now I'm just imagining, like, yeah, she just freaking jumped Anyway, we uh, we can't really do anything here. We gotta go to Cyanwood. Cyanwood. Somewhere across the ocean. Uh, across the sea. But we will get to that next time. Thanks for watching this Hyperexion episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. Next time we will be we will be sailing sailing across the sea. Later. Thank you.